Welcome back. Life's been pretty busy lately. And as you guys can see, I am in my own shop. And there's even more news as you guys can tell from the title, which we'll get to in a little bit. But in Cleveland, Ohio, it's about to get into a complete blizzard this weekend. And I actually need all my stuff out of this shop already. So recently, I got the shop because my parents wanted my cars out of the house. Because I have two now, taking up more room, one of them gone, understandable. So I got the shop and I was like, oh, I can vinyl wrap, so I'm going to start vinyl wrapping on the side. So after doing some vinyl wraps, it took up more time than I wanted to. And I just felt stressed out because I had to do one a month to pay for the shop and all the electric bill and all that stuff. And it was just more than I wanted to actually do. I'm still going to keep vinyl wrapping. So if you guys are interested in local hit up my Instagram, it's right here on the screen. Like, the place is close to my work, which I liked, but from where I was living, it was 45, 50 minute drive. It was just, I would literally get off work, come here, work on the car, go home. It was like for like a solid two weeks it would take because I'm working like 50 plus hours. It was just a long time. And then I don't even get to enjoy the shop for myself because when I'm, not vinyl wrapping, I didn't want to be here. I wouldn't need to, I needed to get other things done in my life. So I figured if I do it at my house, I won't feel as stressed. Uh, I'll be able to pocket more money, reinvest it, do whatever I need to do with it, and not put it almost all towards rent for a shop. So me and my girlfriend have also been looking for a house for a long time. As soon as we got the shop, we figured we're gonna end up finding the house we want. We found a house with a nice size garage and we just felt like it was the one and we ended up going through with it. And it's also like seven minutes away from here. So it's close. And I just feel like I don't really need this much space as much as I love this place. And I really don't want to get rid of it already as you guys, you guys are just seeing it and I'm already getting rid of it. It would just work out best in my time in life right now to get rid of it and put everything at the house. With that being said, this car needs to get to the house because... I need to be out by January. It's about to be a complete blizzard out here and I don't wanna be driving this car in the snow. That car I'll take out and have fun with if I had to. I might take that one tomorrow before it gets really bad. But at least for today, I don't even wanna experience what this is gonna be like in the snow. At least right now, maybe one day I'll take it out. But not right now. I really don't have that much stuff in here just yet, so. It, it's not gonna be bad to move, but enough of me talking. I'm gonna hop in the car. We're gonna go back to the house and I'll show you guys the garage and everything else. I'm excited for it. It needs a little remodel, which I'm gonna bring you guys along for the process. Really forget just how good this car truly looks ah the white wheels on the black with the brushed lips you know I'm so happy how quick this car came together kind of want to change the color already though so let me know you guys suggestions in the comments all right enough staring at the car it's time to go home we're back home I know it's dark but there, there's, I feel like there's so much room in here for being a home garage. Like the Jenny's just posted up right there and, and there's still all this room where I could park the cruise and still have room to walk around it. And then my goal is when I work on a customer's car is to pull it straight in and all this stuff's gonna be moved, this stuff back here. I wanna do a whole remodel. Do clearly love the Cleveland Browns. Me and my friends, we're gonna redo this entire space. Like I'm talking, like I think I'm gonna epoxy the floor, redo all the paint. They got stuff to fix, new lights. Like I want it to be like a showroom quality like workspace. I am just so happy that I'm able to afford a garage at a house like this, a nice driveway that's flat. 
and spot to put my cars where if I want to work on them, I can just come out in the garage. I don't have to drive anywhere to go and work on them anymore. Everything's going to be right here. For you guys, it'll be like a second, and for me, it may be a day or two before I pick up the camera. A couple days later, uh, I got the truck pretty much loaded up with a lot of stuff. It's not all of it. But we're making trips, getting stuff out of the shop, moving it to the home garage, which I'm going to show you guys today now that it's more light out. It snowed a lot, though which sucks I hate the winter I just want to go somewhere it's like you can have cool days but I just hate snow it's fun here and there but like to have it for like 4 or 5 months it just sucks maybe in the future we'll find ourselves inside another shop this one worked out perfect too bad I can't keep it but on to bigger and better things gotta do some adult things back home we go Finally, give you guys a look in the daylight. There's the house and here's the garage, which I'm sure most of you guys are actually interested in. It's a lot bigger than I thought because my girlfriend can still pull her car here or if we end up getting another car, can pull straight in. And you have room to open up your doors on the side. You still got room to go along this way. Once I'm at the table and stuff, you can open the door more. Uh, you got room in the middle. This spot will probably be for like when I'm working on the car or car, I'll probably switch these because I need to get this one ready. For the next show at the IX Center in Cleveland, uh, the Autorama, got some things to button up on that. But it's a nice size, there's a lot to do as you see. I know I mentioned it before how, big Browns fan and I just wanna redo all the lights. These lights, they're like halogens or some kind of tubes. They're not LEDs so they don't turn on if it's too cold, sucks. So, <clears throat> I got a lot to do. Forgot to record an outro, but we're up in the office. I started editing it, so I figured I'd record a little outro. Uh, I wanted to give a life update, and that's kind of what this video is about. Not so much car stuff going on, but if you guys made it to the end, I appreciate it. If you guys are new, subscribe, please drop a like and comment what you guys think about the, the new house, the new garage. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.